Hello and welcome to my Elite Dangerous, my personal fleet carrier, my second look, Beta 2. Well, it's May the 23rd, and since May the 21st, they've allowed anyone that can come up with 1 million credits to buy a fleet carrier and to activate the services for 100 credits each. So if you haven't had an opportunity to enjoy being a fleet carrier owner, this is your opportunity through the 26th, or sometime within the day of the 26th. So you have about three days uh, if you wish to go do that. And I would encourage it greatly because uh, it's a lot of fun. I really enjoy it. Well, I have a new play series that starts today, so you probably want to watch the previous video to this one. We're going to start a play series of No Man's Sky VR. You know I'm really into VR. Everything I do is in VR, and that's why my head moves and and uh, the video moves and things like that because you're seeing it through what I see and how I see it and uh, that's why a few have said that uh, makes them a little nauseous uh, because of the movement so you might have to just glance at the video and listen to it kind of get the gist of it and uh, after a little while the uh, after a few weeks the uh, motion sickness goes away that's the way it was with me and with the VR. It took me a couple of weeks and I could only play for about 15 minutes at a time. But we're, what we're doing in the No Man's Sky videos is I had such a hard time at first and I've heard on the forums and places that people are complaining it's so hard to get into No Man's Sky. Some, I'm sure some of you just picked it up right off. Uh, it wasn't quite so easy for me. So I watched a lot of videos also, and I played around with it, and it's starting to make sense now. So that's what my series is about. It's about starting at the beginning, learning the ropes one step at a time. As you know, my videos, I take you with me. And that's what we're going to do with No Man's Sky 2. We're just going to go along, and I'm learning as you learn, and yes, I'll on the side watch some videos and try to make sure I'm not missing something and but bring it to you as you're coming along with me and uh, we're learning from scratch uh, so I think my first video will make it a little bit easier for those that were like me where it was difficult so be sure to check that video out underneath the video to the left gfm underscore rdg where there's over 720 more videos for you to watch, including the new play series, No Man's Sky. So uh, we'll be producing a whole lot more of those, especially after the 26th when we don't have fleet carriers anymore to do videos on until June, which I will be buying one and when we'll start up the videos again on the fleet carriers. So we're gonna do some asteroid mining. Everybody likes asteroid mining. And uh, practice makes perfect, and that's the way it is in No Man's Sky, too. I need the practice. And uh, I have a series on Ultimate Fishing Simulator that we completed. So watch that one, too, and, and VR Pinball. That was a lot of fun, too, where the tables come alive. Uh, everything I do, I really like the pinball, I mean the VR experience and uh, so it's all in VR. So let's get going where we asteroids uh, hit some asteroids for some tritium. So let's go do that. Now I do know how my videos are doing by the number of views and how long you watch the videos. So we monitor that to see what you want to see. Okay, we're going to be looking for our 
larger tritium hotspot. I can do about 30 an hour, 32, 35 an hour, somewhere in there. Now, if I'm really worried about efficiency, I'm more efficient at running cargo missions and collecting about 50 million in an hour roughly maybe even more and going and buying about a thousand tritiums for that 50 million so really I'm more efficient that way at purchasing tritium a thousand an hour is far greater than 30 an hour but like I said everything runs based on the viewers and our viewers state that they really like watching the tritium asteroid mining so guess what we're gonna keep doing tritium asteroid mining as long as the viewers want to see it we're gonna keep producing it so we can tell by the number of views we get over all the other videos and the planetary exploration does pretty good too seems like most of you like those too so we'll keep it up As we'll bring you what you want to watch. Try to get as close to the center of the hot spot. Sys deploy. Sys scoop. So we come along and we uh, hit it, some, we throw some uh, prospector limpids at a few of these asteroids just to kind of see which ones we should go after and which ones we should just leave alone. And uh, we just keep going. I really can't compete with uh, purchasing and transporting for numbers but we do both the preparing for the fleet carrier series is in my live account where we run cargo missions and we can make about uh, 50 to 75 million an hour then we can run out and purchase tritium and we do and we'll continue that But uh, if you're like most of you are probably like me, you get bored if you do the same thing over and over and over again. So we try to uh, do quite a few things <coughs> over and over and over again. Uh, we'll find some that at least has some tritium in it. It has 10%. Eh, it's not great, but hey, we see a lot worse. So we start shooting them and then we let out some of the limpid control. Use the limpid controller and let some go chase them. So 
So we probably actually mined for about 45 minutes. But be sure to look to the lower right of the video and press that subscribe button. Helps me out with YouTube. You get notified when I produce more videos. And it doesn't cost you anything. And underneath the video, in the description, you see at the bottom of the description, ways to donate. We've had a very hard financial year and it's uh, taken a toll on our YouTube channel. So if you could uh, help us out there and there's ways to donate. And underneath the video, to the left, you see our YouTube channel, GFM underscore RDG, where you find over 720 more videos to watch, including our new series with uh, No Man's Sky. Is this left? We got a few fragments left. Sis left. You got about three left. Now, I've had mixed feelings about the No Man's Sky in the past, just because the first part was so difficult to grasp at first, but I'm starting to get the hang of it.
pull away slightly from this asteroid, turn and fire a prospector at the one to our forward right. Cis alternate? Cis alternate? Cis alternate? I've been pretty lucky I haven't hit an asteroid yet. Not in the cutter anyway. But I'm sure there's going to be a time I do hit it. So I have good shields. On purpose. Just in case. But on the forums, there's lots of complaining about the tritium, or tritium, mining. If this was my only way of getting tritium, yeah, I'd feel the same way, but I can purchase it, so I feel pretty good about it. Certainly don't want to hit any of these guys. Is this left? Is this right? Yeah, we got five. We don't have a lot, but we have a little bit. Kind of usually what happens, we get a little bit. We do it because we can. Is this left? That's about it. See if we can get past this asteroid, and then we'll turn into that one. Actually, I do enjoy doing the asteroid mining. Especially since I'm not desperate for the uh, tritiums. Because I have over 16,000 in storage on that fleet carrier. It's not, a, not an issue. Because I can buy plenty. And I'll buy them. If that's the best way to do it, I'll do it that way.
Whatever works. Yeah, that one's pretty good. Asteroid scan complete. this left this right Prospect Olympic engaged. No, oh, that one's pretty good. Asteroid scan complete. This left.
Is this right? This left. Do appreciate you coming along. Appreciate uh, those that have subscribed, and if you haven't, please do. It doesn't cost you anything. Get notified when I create more of these videos and you see on their material those are the same type of raw materials we get when we do planetary exploration so we pick up raw materials in both places both off of asteroids and on the planets so the video after this one will be on a will be a planetary exploration video And then we'll run some cargo missions because that's how I fund 99.9% .9 of all our activity is through cargo missions. It's the only reason I can afford a fleet carrier is because of cargo missions. I did purchase two fighters, a Vulture and a uh, Fur de Lance, and uh, I'm going to be uh, uh, outfitting those and modding them through the uh, engineers. And uh, then we're going to go after uh, pirates. When we get interdicted, we're going to accept missions that cause us to be interdicted but we're not going to carry the cargo and uh, we're just going to go out in COs and and attract those that w want to interdict us okay I think we're about ready to go after this one Always need to watch it and be careful and don't get ourselves in a predicament where we get hit by an asteroid so always ready to move and get out of arms way Cis alternate. We'll move over to the left a little bit. We're not so close to that planet. So it doesn't hit us because <laughs> we don't want to get hit by an asteroid. Cis alternate. Prospect 
to limp it engaged. Yeah, that one looks okay. Asteroid scan complete. Is this left? Yeah, it's nice when the fragments are just tritium. Yeah, that's very nice. Let them catch up a little bit. Is this right? We're up to 11. Sometimes are better than others. But again, we're not uh, suffering from lack of tritium on board the fleet carrier with almost 17,000 tons, including the fuel tank. It probably is close to 17,000 tons of tritium. We are going to change the way we purchase them when we go live. We're only going to purchase maybe a thousand, maybe fifteen hundred uh, right at first. And then about once a week we're going to send over the uh, cutter to pick up another 720. And uh, we'll watch for times that they're their lowest price and we'll pick up more. There might be a time that we get to, you know, 10,000, but I don't know if we'll get to 17,000 in the future. Is this left? Yeah, a few more. But everything's about the YouTube videos and viewers and the viewers seem to really like the asteroid mining and the planetary exploration so they'll keep coming. But it's all about what you're watching. If you're watching them, we're creating them. It's kind of like manufactured products the way they always say, uh, if people will buy it, they'll make more. Well, that's how it works with uh, with videos. If they watch it, you'll make more of them. That's the way it works. Yeah, being on the bottom with the axis is pretty safe. You still have to watch it though. You certainly don't want to get hit by one of them. I think our shields would hold up because I have hit them before in the past and it didn't take out much shields so I think we would be fine but we're certainly going to try to avoid them as much as possible Yeah, we're backing up at the same time. Is 
That's this alternate. And we'll move over to the left. Where we don't get slapped by that asteroid. Is this alternate? Programming the input drone. Yeah, that one's pretty good. What's this one up here? Scan complete. Programming limpet drone. Asteroid depleted. Okay, we've already done that one. Okay. Asteroid scan complete. Is this left? Yeah, we still got quite a few, so I need to let the limpets catch up a little bit. Is this right? up to 13 so it's a little bit slower Is this left? Programming limpet drone. Programming limpet drone. Programming limpet drone. this left. Yeah, that's about all of them. Okay. Yeah, we have a limpet drone over there.
Sis left. Engaged. Oh, that one's pretty good. Asteroid scan complete. Sis left. Yeah, sulfur is full. Sis right. Sis left. Sis right. Sis left. Sis left. Yep, we gotta be careful with it.
turret depleted. Programming limpet drone. Prospector limpet engaged. Asteroid scan complete. Just left. This will probably be our last asteroid that we're facing. In the next video, again, will be a planetary exploration. Then we'll probably do another uh, cargo run. Now, it takes me a little while to uh, edit and publish videos, so if you watch the clock, it, it takes a little while to get everything pushed over to YouTube. This one might not be as easy because it's the way it's rotating. Could be a little iffy. Have to be really careful. Kind of wobbles. It's hard to find the exact axis. So we have to be prepared to hit reverse. Keep this one at arm's length.
programming limpet drone. Programming limpet drone. Programming limpet drone. Asteroid depleted. So we'll move down. Turn around. Move out just a little. This left. This right. Yeah, we got twenty two. Not great, not terrible. We might get up to twenty four, maybe twenty five at the most out of this one. This left. this left again I appreciate you coming along make sure you look to the lower right hand corner of the video and press that subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed it doesn't cost you anything you get notified when I produce more videos and it'll help me with YouTube eventually and uh, underneath the video in the description you'll find ways to donate it's been a very tough visit uh, financial year and uh, the YouTube channel could use some help because we need storage capabilities for all these videos underneath the video to the left you'll see our YouTube channel GFM underscore RDG where you'll find over 720 more videos to watch You know, that material sulfur, sulfur at the end where we've run out of spaces for sulfur. Can't take any more. Sys deploy. Sys scoop. Cargo scoop retracted. Sys left. Low way down. See if we can find. There it is. Find the fleet carrier. Says left. nice having a fleet carrier this close have all your limpids have your storage have your other ships all of it right here refuel rearm repair all right here it's very nice yeah the gravitational pull of that planet really slows us down
assist left. And he's seeing other ships in our vicinity. It's uninhabited and I haven't seen another ship. In two betas. It's like, okay. Whatever. But we always uh, be prepared for anything. Is this right? Transfer everything to the fleet carrier. Limpids and the uh, tritium. Okay, it's all transferred over. So we'll bring over, we'll use our uh, planetary for the next video that's the travel cutter planetary cover cutter these are our support ships frontier scrap the idea of the fleet carriers having support ships so we have to create our own and we've done that we have four Pythons, and we have four cutters that are used for travel, planetary, mining, and cargo. So I appreciate you coming along. Be sure that you subscribe, you donate, and you watch more videos. So until our next video, thank you for watching.